Okay, uh, this is a box. This is a, a, a Honeywell uh, zone damper. And what we're doing today is I'm gonna teach you how to convert this from normally open to normally closed. And the reason why we would wanna do this is uh, mostly on, if we get this damper and we need to install it on a uh, fresh air intake for a, uh, for a unit, a commercial unit, uh, the, uh, you know, we, we have to, this is a six inch, but uh, normally we need a 10 or a 12 inch and they don't make uh, the, the normally closed dampers uh, past 10 inch. So you have to convert, you have to get one of these and convert it. Now in the instructions, I don't know if we can zoom in or not, but uh, the instructions on how to do this on the second page, they're right here. Those are the instructions right here on how to do that right there. One through four. It's not very clear. I'm going to explain it to you a lot better. So the first thing you do is hold on to the instructions. Take the zone damper out of the box. Now, this of course is a damper motor. There's a shaft coming all the way through, as you can see. All we're going to do, this is all we're going to do. We're going to move this damper to this side and instead of this being open we're going to when we when we lock this damper motor in we're going to have this damper closed that's all we're going to do allen key here we go So I can't remember what size it is. Okay. I think it's this uh, 3 sixteenths. You're going to get a 3 sixteenths Allen key. And you're going to, with that Allen key, all we're going to do is open this up and we're going to take this damper motor off. Okay. So you just stick it in there, loosen it, and the damper motor comes off. Now, what I do, because I am anal, I'm gonna put this normally open, and over this side gonna be normally closed, just in case I don't get a phone call, and then I forget what side I was working on. Okay. So, that out of the way, all we need to do is take off these uh, these these two. We got to take off this one. We got to take off this one. You see, this is a hole that this goes in, and this is a plug. So that plug has got to come over here. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a pain in the neck. Uh, these are a pain in the neck. What I do is push. Try to push and pry, push and pry. Push them underneath, don't, don't forget, don't lose it. Push and pry. Okay. You can always get the trusty. This is going to come over to this side. You'll put your plug on this side. Now you're ready for your damper motor. Just place that, make sure it gets inside there. Now, now you got everything on. You got to need to close the damper. That's that's the only difference. Close the damper, and then stick your Allen key in there. I guess it's a three sixteenths. Lock it in, and now we have a normally closed damper. Now you can also 
You could also, if you want, want to adjust it like more open, like we're doing a zone damper and you wanted to adjust it open a little bit more, we could, we could have left it cracked. But in this case, I kept it all the way down. So that's all you got to do. Now, a couple things. This is still, this little, little uh, thing is all still going to be, going to say open because it's not that smart. Uh, and the light's going to still work the same. Uh, when the light's on, it's going to be open, not closed. Uh, so if you want to get a piece of tape or something and mark that open out and put closed or, or, uh, I don't know. I don't know if this will work. You want to do that? Uh, somehow, if you want to identify that that's now different, that would be good. So that's all you got to do. It's not that hard. Uh, basically just flipping the motor to the other side and, uh, and I always mark it. That's it.